Welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood of the Scruffy Looking Nerf Herders. Today I'm reading Star Wars Dark Empire number four, book four, Confrontation on the Smuggler's Moon. I'd like to take a moment to invite you to subscribe to this channel and ring that damn bell. Greetings, Solo. Boba Fett? But you're dead! The Sarlacc found me somewhat indigestible, Solo. Your friend Mako has been real helpful. He told us right where to find you. What's going on, Mako? You adding betrayal to your list of crimes? Sorry, hon. The asking price was just too good. I gotta be thinking of my old age. A lot of people would pay to see you dead, Solo. But the Huts are paying more for you alive. They want to watch you die. They especially want your lady friend for what she did to poor Jabba. Come on, Leia. This homecoming party's over before it starts. Right! As the ruthless bounty hunters return Han's blasts, the housekeeping droid Zizi is caught in the crossfire. Kick, kick, beep. How romantic! We're both wanted by the huts! Yeah, husband and wife, marked for death. Guess I'll have to forget those fancy power couplings. Nix will have to use the cheap Modog rebuilds he deals. Let's go! Boba Fett and Dengar chase their prey across the crowded spaceport, indifferent to everything that gets in their way. Down here, princess. I know this city like the back of my hand. I'll bet your friend Mako knows it even better. Cutting through an alley, Han and Leia emerge on a landing terrace that overlooks the cavernous flight shafts of the Carillion Sector. Nice going, Han. We're trapped. It's not my fault. There used to be a bridge here. Honest. Great. Every bounty hunter in town is joining the fun. So what do we do now? Set up camp and wait for the rescue team? Unexpectedly, one of Fett's wrist rockets hits a floater that's carrying a fat hut crime boss. Nichawanga! Kachuda! Uttering an ugly cry of fear, the hut catapults into the abyss. Nice shot, Boba! The Alliance will send you a medal! Maybe if we give it to him now, he'll stop trying to kill us. I never thought a hut's slime tracks would smell so sweet! As laser blasts echo off the city canyon walls, Han works desperately to control the wildly careening floater. Hang on, your worship. I'm trying to figure out these strange knobs and switches. Why is it you always get formal when you're about to do something stupid? There. Got it. You see? See what? Han! Hey, the Falcon. And there's Chewie. It's Sala's ship. Trust an old girlfriend to help out when a guy's in a jam. Somehow your old girlfriends don't inspire much trust in me. Leia and Han leap into the open hold of the Starlight Intruder just as the floater takes a hit from below. Sala, beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> Boba Fett's hot on our tail. Let's vacate this dead moon. They're making the jump, Fett. Coordinates are deep galactic core. Slave 2's faster than that junker. We'll be waiting for him. Nava Computer says the intruder has cleared all the way to Abyss, Sala. But will he stall out in hyperspace? That's what worries me, Nix. I rebuilt the hyperdrive motivator three times, and it still ain't working right. As Sala Zend and Shug Nix finesse the Starlight Intruder's ion engines, Leia finally opens the mysterious gift she received from the old Jedi, Vima Daboda. Look, Han, a lightsaber. Kind of like the woman who gave it to you, a real antique. Han, will you ever understand? For better or worse, you're married to the Jedi now. I understand the things that matter. 
Leia feels her Jedi powers strengthen as she grips the ancient weapon. Luke, I'm seeing him. He's commanding the Imperial forces like our father. I fear we've lost him, Han. I fear we've lost everything. Suddenly, the eyes of her Jedi vision open with unexpected clarity. High over the great Calamari water, his premonitions are proving true. This ship's doomed! Jettison all escape pods! The Alliance Star Destroyer Emancipator is making an expensive meal for one of the Emperor's New World Devastators. On board the last escape pod, Lando Calrissian and Wedge Antilles survey the nearly hopeless situation. I guess I just wasn't cut out to command Star Destroyers. Hang on to your hat, boss. I'm hearing good news on the Alliance frequency. Pinnacle Base is sending over reserves! White team is through! Sublight power engaged! Deflectors on! Arm all turbos and ion cannons! Attacking with ferocity, the Rebel Reserve teams provide covering fire as hundreds of escape pods are taken aboard the rescue frigates. All pods accounted for! Now let's save those calamari evacuees! Storming down over the vast calamari oceans, phalanxes of New Alliance E-Wings tackle the World Smashers head-on. Nave 1 and Nave Team, blast anything that looks like a scanning tower! That's the key to victory! But not everyone will return to the victory celebration, if there is one. Nave Leader, this is Nave 3, I'm hit! As Nave 3 tries in vain to ditch in the Calamari Sea, his crippled E-Wing impacts against the Great Command Devastator, Silencer 7. Yeah! Rebel scum. Do they really think they can penetrate our defenses with these new ships? Commander Clev, we've got a problem. The Master Control Computer on base is transmitting improper signals. It's shutting us down. What? That's impossible! Put Silence the Seven on override! Do you hear me? Override all systems! We can't, sir. The master control signal has locked out the override, sir. On board the frigate, Antares Six, Lando and Wedge watch the now triumphant rebel attack. This is excellent. Those new E-Wings must have found the Devastator's weak spot. Not the way I saw it, Wedge. That Devastator's self-destructed. Whoever's in charge of those monsters is an idiot. You'd almost think he wants to lose. Okay, Han. You got your wish. We're entering the Deep Core Security Zone. Biss has acknowledged our approach. The whole planet is protected by heavy-duty shield generators. Kind of like that system we took out on the Ender Moon. And you're clear to land, right? Take us down. Oh dear, I do hope we're not too late to save our two. Starlight Intruder, we have confirmation of your registration code. The planetary perimeter will open in exactly 3.2 seconds. As the invisible window opens to allow the intruder through the planetary shields, Slave 2 vaults out of hyperspace. Boba Fett, what did I tell you? That slime sucker never gives up. Move it, Sala. We've got a bounty hunter on our tail. Pull up, Fett! Navicomputer says the planet's protected by security shields! Their ship's going through. Slave 2 will follow them in before the shields can close. But security is very tight on the Emperor's new throne world. Bounty hunters are not wanted on this. Sir, I have an authorized docking cord, but there's a smaller ship right behind trying to sneak past the shields! Cut him off! Close the shields! As the intruder falls safely into the planet's atmosphere, the shields lock shut against Slave 2. Great! We're through! Fett! You idiot! This time's the last time I work with you! 
That's fine with me. Won't have to spit the bounty on Solo. Following their approved descent trajectory, the Starlight Intruder docks at the Imperial Freight Complex on the outskirts of the Emperor's ruling city. This world. Luke is here. Very, very dark. Let me pilot the Falcon. I'll take us to Luke. Pilot the Falcon? I don't know about that. This place is crawling with patrol ships and hunter-killer droids. But once the intruder is safely berthed, Leia is not to be denied. You taught me everything you know, darling. Trust me, and stop being so protective. Ignoring her husband's protests, Leia uses her Jedi abilities to guide the Millennium Falcon unerringly across the maze-like city. You see that tower? That's where Luke is. We'll land on that big hangar on top. Right, if we don't get vaporized to glowing fragments first. Security Command, this is Patrol XLS. We are in pursuit of unregistered traffic in Security Zone 1. The Force will get us through, Han. I know, Chewie. Be a polite Wookiee and cool it. I got a hunch we're going to need the Force to get us where we're going. Concentrating her Jedi attention on their pursuers, Leia finds the mind of the patrol ship's gunner. Sir, they must be using a cloaking device. We've lost visual sighting, and the scanners can't find them either. What do you mean? That ship is right there on the targeting screens. Destroy it! Sorry, sir. The targeting computer is never wrong, sir. Maybe they dropped behind us, sir. You fool! Now we've missed our chance! That tramp freighter is in violation of the Emperor's personal security zone! We'll both be executed for this! The same Jedi courage that led Luke Skywalker to surrender to his father on the Endor moon brings Leia into the mouth of the beast that intends to snuff out the last light of the Jedi. Permit them to land. Prepare to take the prisoner to Lord Skywalker. Thanks for letting me add a special touch to your plan, dear. I hope it works. We still have two life form readings on board, sir. Humanoid. Close the bay doors. We'll go in and take them out. Dead if we have to. As the stormtroopers prepare to board, the Millennium Falcon tilts off her landing gear and unleashes rotating blaster cannons. Good work, Sala. Everyone hit the deck. What about me? I'm completely defenseless. The plan worked. Sal and Nix are blasting their way to freedom. I don't know why I put so much trust in humans. I always end up getting hurt. If Sal is lucky, she'll find a hole to hide the Falcon until we need it. Right. Listen, Han. Luke's not far. All we have to do now is... Leia... You should not have come here. It will not go well. L Luke! My master wishes to speak with you. My sentinels will escort you to the Emperor's presence. The Emperor? What do you mean? Yes, he lives. Escorted by the formidable sentinels, Leia, Han, Chewbacca, and 3PO are taken to the subterranean levels of the tower to the Emperor's clone laboratories. Oh, R2! Look what they've done to you! I warned you there was going to be trouble! <coughs> Leia, Han, it was very foolish of you to come here. I told you that my destiny is not yours. I can see you've really gone off the deep end this time, kid. Looks like being a Jedi was too much for you. Be quiet, Han. There are things far beyond the mind and powers of a space pirate. Things you'll never understand. Hey, wait a minute. I can read a face, farm boy. You've come a long way from the idealistic kid who couldn't wait to get off Tatooine and join the Rebellion. A long way down. Han, take it easy. You don't know what he's been through. Master Luke, R2 says they've erased his main programming. How could you let them? 
Lord Skywalker, the master wishes to meet our guests. Of course. Take their weapons. Leia, give me the lightsaber. Not on your life. We're leaving here now, and this time you're coming with us. Ah! Luke, your hand! Yes, they're making me another, a better one. Give me the lightsaber, Leia. Good. Leia, don't be a fool. I don't know what's happened to you, but get back. Excellent. Strike your brother. Then you'll see what new powers he's won from the dark side of the Force. No! Let go of my husband, you overgrown freak! Now, we're leaving, and we're taking Luke with us. Brave little Jedi. But really, such an old lightsaber is not a worthy weapon for you. Look at you, brother and sister Jedi, the last of your kind, and I have you both. This one, my dear apprentice, so strong in the Force, he has learned his lessons well. And the sister, so vulnerable, so inexperienced, and yet it is she who holds the key to the future. Don't worry, little Jedi. I will not harm you. Indeed, I will teach you things you have never imagined. I will show you the real power a Jedi can wield. Come, my son. Bring your sister and her friends. Let us reveal to them the wonders I have in store. Let us show them the future of a galaxy. My clothes. Tested by the dark will that has enslaved a galaxy, the Force suddenly grows strong in Leia. Long ago, I found my flesh could not withstand the awesome demands of the dark side. The great Emperor Palpatine discovered he was dying. My body was literally consumed by the energies I had released. Fortunately, fortunately there was a way, a road to eternal life. Well done. Your first step toward the dark side of the Force. Now let me show you something. Uh, uh, Luke, help me! You filth! You've killed her! No, just a little discipline for a Jedi. Take her to my quarters. It is time for her to begin her training. Filled with uncontrollable rage, Han breaks free of the Sentinel's iron grip. Traitor! Out of my way! I strongly suggest you refrain from violence, Han, for Leia's sake. Blah! You've become just like him, haven't you? Just like Vader, or worse. You understand nothing of what is taking place, or what I am doing to save the galaxy. You don't deserve to live for what you've done, Luke. I'll kill you myself if I... Get the chance. That may be true, Han. I may have to die, but I assure you it won't be you who does the deed. Thank you all for tuning in. We invite you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to get notified about our next video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you.